All right, let's talk about databases in Linux. Now, there are a couple of big ones. So for a long time, the standard was MySQL. There's actually now a fork of MySQL called MariaDB. Now, the great thing is almost anything that runs under MySQL will run under MariaDB just fine. So that's cool. It means we can upgrade from SQL to Maria without probably without using a, losing a lot. Now, obviously, you're going to want to double check and test everything, make backups for everything you would do before upgrading to a new system. But it should work. Now, some places continue to stay with MySQL, which is fine. More and more uh, Linux distributions are moving to MariaDB as their standard. So that's the one we're going to take a look at. But remember, most of your scripts, most of your code should work just fine. Most of your databases should work just fine if you choose to upgrade from one to the other. All right, so let's start out with a MariaDB installation. So the command is going to be sudo. It's going to be, let me get over here. sudo apt install mariadb-server. And yes, we're going to go ahead and do this. Now, as we go through this installation and we're waiting for it to finish, I'm not going to go real deep into MariaDB. Um, SQL classes can take you much farther into that configuration. So we're going to go through the basic installation. We're going to secure the system and we're going to access it and basically get it up and running. And then you'll take it from there with SQL code. So our installation is complete. Now, remember I said this was a fork of MySQL. Well, there's a script that will secure the database from you or for you. And the name of it is actually, and you've got to do sudo to start it, MySQL, SQL, there you go, underscore secure underscore installation. So yes, we're on Maria. The name of the script hasn't been updated. So you have to use sudo in order to do it or do it from root. So we're going to set a root password. And this, by the way, is just going to run through and make a bunch of changes that are recommended for production environments. So you don't actually need to run it right now. You could go through, do some other work on it, and then come back and secure it a little bit later on. But I'm going to go ahead and run through it now just so we see it. So we're going to enter a uh, current password. So we don't have a current password for root. So do we want to set one? Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Notice my Y is capitalized. So that's the default if I just hit enter. And I'm going to set a password. Now, the next thing it does is it has an anonymous user account. And it's asking, do we want to get rid of that anonymous user? So it's included for testing. Installation works fine with it. We're just going to go ahead and remove it now on the grounds that this would be a production server. So yeah, I want to remove that uh, anonymous user. Now, where should root be allowed to connect from? By default, root can allow connect from anywhere. Um, what this does is this disables the lo root login uh, remotely. So basically, if you're going to log in using the root user, you're going to have to do it from the console. And I say that because if you SSH to the device and using SSH, you try to log into Maria, it'll go ahead and allow you to log in because it sees that as a console connection. So it's using a database client connection that you can't log in using the root user. So disable root login remotely. Yeah, let's do that. And then we do have a test database. So again, that's here just for testing, hence the name, and should probably be removed before going to production environments. So we're going to say, yeah, go ahead and remove that. And then we can reload our privilege tables and everything takes effect. Okay, now at this point, we have the database active. So I want to access the console. So our command is going to be sudo maria db. And that's going to assume root access because I used sudo and actually I was doing it as root so I didn't have to use sudo, but whatever. Um, actually, I wasn't. Huh. I didn't elevate. So sudo mariadb assumes you log in as root and we have access to it. And now we can start entering commands. So I'm just going to do one real quick. Show databases. End it with a semicolon and there are our databases. So at this point, 
my database installation is up and running. So if all I'm doing is creating the platform as a server administrator for a database administrator to then take over and start working with, okay, we've got it. We have the platform installed and created for them to start working with. If I am going to be the database administrator as well, and uh, you know, not just a server admin, but if I'm going to work with the database and create my databases and if I'm going to be my database developer or my DBA, then I would go in and uh, continue to work with and configure this using SQL code. So that's not something we're talking about in uh, this section right now. We're just focusing on getting the server installed, secured, and up and running for your DBA or DBD to be able to take it over. All right, to close out of here, I'm going to exit and semicolon. All commands end with semicolons. If you don't, uh, it doesn't always take them correctly, but the exit works fine either way. So we are now set. Our database is, our database server is ready to be handed off.